my name is Nancy, welcome back to my channel, I do beauty and lifestyle videos and if that's something you like don't forget to subscribe. So today I did this 60s inspired makeup, so if you want to see how I did it, keep watching. And so as I said in the intro I'm going to be doing 60s inspired makeup. Um, so I'm going to start with the eyes because I think there's going to be some fallout. Get into it. I'm just gonna zoom you in. So I'm gonna take the P. Louise base in shade two on the BH Cosmetics 102 brush from one of their sets. And I'm just gonna pat that onto my eyelid. And you can't even see me. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna angle it a bit down. So I'm just patting it, dragging really, but not like. I'll oh, show not softly. Pat and drag. And what made me want to do this video is because in January it was my granddad's birthday and I did, it was a 60s theme party and I did look like, well, the ex really the exact same as this but a different colour. I did it in yellow. I'll show you. So I'm going to sort of go off that but not be as extreme. So I'm going to take the MUA Makeup Academy Matte Shadow in Smoke. So I'm just taking this on this Makeup Revolution Angled Eyeshadow Brush. It's really thin, but the other ones are not as thin. I'm just going to do a line. Hope for the best. I'm probably not going to talk through this yet. I'll probably speed it up. Then I'm going to take the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black, obviously. This is where it gets hot. So I'm just going to go over that black line. That bit went wrong. All I'm going to do is take some Vaseline. I saw this on the P. Louise site. The pillows in the front main. Take some Vaseline on just any brush. And just put it over the bit that you don't want. I'm just going to put it underneath. See that? And then I'm just going to take, it would be better of a cotton bud. I'm just going to take a cotton bud and fold it so I'll get the corner bit. Do a wing. 
just mucked up a bit. It's okay. We're just gonna wait for that to dry. I think it's dry. And then I'm just gonna take the spoolie. I'm just gonna take the spoolie in. So now I've done the eyeliner. Now I've done the eyeliner. And I've got rid of that little bit. I'm just gonna take that number seven brush with social base on. Just pack it over the top of it. So I'm going to go straight into the primer because I've already moisturised and that. So I'm going to take the I Heart Revolution Banana Split Radiant Primer with Vitamin C and E. Check the glowy primer. I'm just going to brush that in. So with this primer it's tacky as well which is really nice because it will mean your foundation will stick. And moving on to foundation, my foundation today. I'm trying a different colour in this. So I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know what it's going to be like, but it looks like a good match. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. And a neutral undertone. Just going to light on this. I hate the smell of this, honestly. It gives me a headache. So to blend that in, I'm going to take the Spectrum B01 brush from the Mean Girls Collection. I'm just going to buff it in. Be a bit too pink for me. So I don't know if you I don't think you'll know if you don't already follow me on my Instagram. But I've actually created a beauty page on Instagram. This is the name of it and I'll leave a link down below. And I've already started posting some and I'm gonna try and post every day. Try. Or can see I'm gonna take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C1. This is such a good concealer. But it runs up so quick. Where did I just put that? I'm losing everything today. So I'm just putting it on my chin. I always leave my eyes to last so I can sort of set. And I just blend out the edges further. Other side. I'm just going to pat the concealer in and the powder I'm 
I'm using the I Heart Revolution Peach Scented Baking Powder. I love this powder. I have it in this, in the peach one, which has a more peachy undertone, which helps brighten the under eyes. And then I have the banana shade, which I use on my fake tan. I've not actually been fake tanned on this channel at all. Honestly, because I'm too lazy to actually fake tan. Ultra Contour Palette. I'm going to take these two shades and just start blending that onto my cheeks. Sorry, I keep looking up there. So, if you had to, this is a question for everyone if you had to pick an era or year that you would want to go back and live in, what would yours be? Mine would be. Just put it on the tip of my nose, just along here. 
take full lips so I think I'm going to go more pinky so I'm just going to take this with limited edition I think but you can just use a light pink just like this colour just looks like that and you can take there okay so that's the finished look um i hope you like it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content there's gonna be a lot more makeup content coming so get ready for that and i'll see you next time bye